Because it strikes me, and mm. you can take this anywhere you like, mm. but I, I think that you you get patronised quite a lot by the way that people write about you, because people think this is this world star. You know, you're one of the handful of, of people in classical music who can sell out all over the world. You you have a, a big presence in the world. Uh, it seems to me that I think a lot of people are maybe jealous of that or have a problem that how is it possible for somebody to you know play seriously a Bartok second concerto or a Mozart concerto and also be a be a, a brand ambassador for a for a watch company and you know play at the Olympics and that kind of thing do, do, does uh, if, 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 if I were you that would really that would really annoy me no, I, I don't because for me um, for me my mission in a way you know I mean, everybody's mission but for, for my mission is to bring classical music especially I do music education you know I want it to do more and I really like to see as many people like what we're doing and to understand what we're doing and so that's why i think you know one thing is to be focused on the music and then the other you know other part of our career is need to be like ambassador to make sure that people know you know notice what we're doing and, and this will be a always my goal and uh, i still remember you know my first day um Came came into uh, America when I when You're I was thirteen. A, yeah, um, a Philadelphia. No, and yeah, Curtis. Right. So I went in, and then the first day, the, the kids, school kids is like, "Hey, what are you doing here in America?" And I said, "Oh, I'm study at Curtis, and I'm study, you know, um, Bach, Mozart, and and like, oh my God, I never heard those names. So I said, who are they? What what, what? Mozart? What what? And that the first day I thought, oh my God, I thought America, you know, uh, being, you know, in the Philadelphia, is, uh, you know, has a great orchestra, has a great conservatory, you know, I, I thought well, this should be, you know, very traditional, you know, but most of people doesn't even have a music class in the school. And I, I realized, oh my God, I need to do something. But of course I was 13, I cannot do anything. <laughs> and, uh, um, but then, but then later, you know, when I grew up, I thought, you know, I need to help those students and I need to create a new method to make sure that when they learn this type of music, they feel loved by the music, not get bored. 